The players don't mind. This sold-out crowd doesn't mind, and we don't mind up in the booth. Hi, everybody. Welcome in on Big... 12 to 9. This has been a series where we've pretty much seen a little bit of everything, and we've got a great... And strike three, a swing and a miss. Allison Smith able to collect her first one down for Smith. Well, Smith is a power pitcher. She's got a lot of speed on that. Two, two, two count. Smith puts it up. Strike three and a swing and a miss. Two for two, Allison Smith to start out the gates for the Buckeyes. And a swing and a miss. One, two, three from Allison Smith. Gets things rolling. couple batters and Rodriguez puts that one up into right field but Bailey's able to get in control bring that in for out number. come up with a win in the starting spot Lena Wilkson out into right field Bailey able to make the catch just at the warning track back you face two really strong right-handed hitters including expected sellout at Buckeye Field as quarter cracks hammers it down the left field line that one will stay fair she's going for extra bases and she will have a stand-up double here with at the plate trying to bring in quarter cracks out at second which start leaving quarter cracks on Hackenbrack puts that one up up against the wall and in the warning track quarter cracks comes home and Hackenbrack going for three and she's in as quarter cracks is able to score safely Ohio State Megiotti swings out in the right field at the warning track and off the wall. Here comes Hackenbrack and she scores. Audie's going for three and she's saved. Guided around here in Columbus. Ohio State takes two thanks to Audie. Oh, Indiana. Roberti up the middle. That's going to bring home Audie. An RBI single for JC Roberti. And field got it right out over the plate, reaches out and drives it through. As Panarski sets inside the circle. That one cracked up. Recovered by Nuss. Put in. And that's going to be out number three. Excuse me. State today. As Olivia McFadden pops that one up. Out in left field. And J.C. Roberti able to crowd it in for out number one to start the inning. Swing and a miss. Number four for Allison Smith. She's got her mojo going inside the circle to the fifth. 1-2 delivery. Popped up. And that's collected by McKenzie Bump. A 1-2-3 inning for Ohio State. And they're going to head back on the off. Oh, as McKenzie Bump sets inside the circle as she leads off. Chilly and cloudy here, but I think we should be good to go. McKenzie Bump puts that one out in the left center field. And she's going to have extra bases. And she will have a stick. Farley swung on. In out to right field, caught by Bailey. And Bump decides to stay at second. So she right field, the right center, whether that's left-handed hitters or right-handed hitters. That time making contact. Nuss collects it, fires it over to McFadden for out number two. Keeping Bump wad. Steps up to the batter's box with two outs. That was a great play there by. Full count, pitch on the way into the dirt, and Melina Wilkinson will have her 19th walk of the season. She's able to get safely out to first. Melina Wilkinson there, Cole against Panarski, and that's been... Bat second, Melina Wilkinson at first. Now one into the dirt, both runners take off. Bump the third and Wilkinson to second, now both being in scoring position. Full count on the way. Outside, and quarter cracks will make her way out to first base. For Cami Quartercracks, Fortis and a chance to add on for Ohio State. Bases loaded for Sam Hackenbrack. The delivery. Hit Hackenbrack, and that gets out in the left field. One comes in, and now Wilkinson from second. She's safe. And Quartercracks from first to Sam Hackenbrack. I think that's going to go down as a single with an air. But try and make a diving catch. The risk is that if she can't make the play, it rolls all Back-to-back -back triples back in the first inning. She puts that one up out in the left field. George is under it, and she makes the play, but not before Ohio State getting two more runs to the game. Ohio State has come out of the gate swinging. Six hit, now already four to her name. Bailey puts that out into left field. 
And Roberti able to make the catch in foul territory for out. No but the offense not wasting any time today. Popped up out in the center. Megotti makes the play for out number two in the inning. Base dealers in the Big Ten. Hit to bump, and bump couldn't quite corral it. As you can see, a little smile on her face just wasn't. One, two. Put in swing and a miss. Allison Smith gets another. Her fifth strikeout of the afternoon. This third inning. J.C. Roberti inside the box. Puts that one up out in the center field. Dylan gets under it. One pitch, one out. Now the 3-1 count. She hits on. In the shallow right. Coming in. Is Bailey able to make the play for out number two? Time up. She doubled in the second inning and eventually rounded out the score as well. Out. And Bump hits that out in the left field. Over top of George and up against the wall. And Bump will find her way into C. One or two steps back and it went right to the wall. And that said Farley did get hit by the pitch. So she's still so far through five batters face. Can she get another one? That one. Unable to control by Launchard, but that won't matter. As as ball four, and now bases loaded. Don't want to see with bases loaded. It's Molina Wilkison. Her last time up, she did. In the season. Puts that one up, shallow infield, but coming in to make the play just like that Jade Moy. That extra seating with the season wrapping up. And that will be out, strikeout number three for Allison Smith. So she'll record her six. She retires. Allison Smith, 3-2. Outside, and Cesaretta will take her base. Another discipline at bat for Purdue. For Cesaretta, 21. And she pops that one up. Allen's a right field. Wilkinson able to make the play for out number two. Two strikes in the count on Cesaretta. Then she draws the walk on a great out. She's been able to have success getting on base. Full count. Strike three. Allison Smith is dealing inside the circle. That's now back-to-back -back swings for quarter cracks where she's got the pitch in from a Cesaretta and is kind of in that leadoff spot, 458 on the season. Again, making contact, pops it up. Dylan, can she make the play? The diving effort, no, she cannot get into first base. Making contact is Hagenbrack, right back up to Cesaretta, able to make the play. As she scooped it to Moy. So Moy sees an open first base. If she can't get there. She can't get there and neither can Bailey as Megiotti. No doubt about it. A two run shot from Megiotti in this bottom half of the fourth inning. Put so high. And the Buckeyes further increase their lead. As they can do no. Career game, Adi goes yard. The Buckeyes. Three pitching appearances to start a complete game and then getting the nod in the final game as well in a situation. Destiny Nori re-enters the box and she puts that one by Jones and she will have that single advancing Roberti. Yesterday as well, they did get the complete game out of a Chasaretta, her fourth in game one. Exclamation point for this Ohio State offense if they're able to convert. And Bump will make her way out to first. She's got, gotten walked. Base paths get different players in. And of course, the player that got taken out in saw. Against Caitlin Farley. Farley hits right to McFadden. McFadden throws it on home, and they get the forced out at home, limiting as up to bat. She's 0 2 today, but she did get a walk in the third inning. Count, Mo Wimpy. Fires from the side of the circle. Rodriguez puts it up into right shallow. That one gets down. Bailey unable to make the play. One runner comes in. Two runners come in. Aya Rodriguez just punches it to right. A nice effort by Bailey. She pops that one up. Dylan makes the play out in right center field. Is the time for Purdue's offense to get something going. Nuz pops it up in the infield. And just outside the outfit, excuse me, Megiotti comes all the way out from center. Walk. The bunt from Bailey trying to get on. Bump comes in, makes the play to Rodriguez for out number two. Bailey 
bunted herself aboard once yesterday. And inside, so Kate Claypool will take her base, and that will lead up for Kiara Dillon. That appearance for Claypool on the year. She walked against Ole Miss on March 18th. First. And Bacon doesn't have to move. Hit by pitch now with the Boilermakers two on. We're yet to record a hit today, but with the run rule coming up, now with two outs. That one put in Moy out in the right field. And Melina Wilkerson makes the catch. And that who's had a successful day at the plate today, excuse me, inside the circle, doing it all. A three display. They came out five runs in the first two innings, a lot of it with two outs. Two out hitting the difference, seven hits. And a Thanks as always to everyone tuning in on Big Ten Plus for NCAA softball. We'll see you next time.